Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. This morning I'm back at a familiar place. You know, Baker's Camp Cover Bridge, built in 1901 uh, by J.J. Daniels. Still in commission today. We've been here a few times. Turn around here so you can see it. All right, so we're out here on a cold, frosty morning. Uh, taking a, a few images as the sun's coming up. There's no clouds in the sky, really not any color, really nothing on the leaves. I just wanted to get up and get out and take a few pictures this morning. And I thought while I was out here doing it, I would uh, share uh, some of my views or opinions here on uh, the uh, pending, uh, well, it's not pending, it's actually been released already, at least announced, I should say, you know, the, the new Canon R8, you know, so, I'm going to set up here, take a few pictures, or take a few pictures, because I've actually already got my camera out, and then uh, uh, we'll talk about it, uh, maybe talk a little bit about the pictures I'm taking, then we'll certainly talk about the Canon R8, so stay tuned. If you're wondering what are we doing here really not doing anything really any difference been shooting at f8 f11 you know as the sun's coming up and the lights coming up nothing really fancy here and you can see the back of my camera you can see we're in this case f8 eighth of a second focused on the bridge take an image doesn't look like much we'll see what we can do with it in, in post processing I wasn't really expecting to get much this morning. I knew there wouldn't be a lot, you know, from a color standpoint or anything out here. I figured it'd be kind of dull, so it didn't really matter. I just wanted to get up and get out. You know, if you're wondering what I'm videoing this with, I'm using my uh, DJI Pocket 2. After the, after the issues I had with the GoPro, not realizing I had it zoomed in in the last video, I didn't want to make that same mistake, so I grabbed a different camera this morning. You know, so yeah, if, if any of these images turned out that I've been taking here, I will put them in right here. So let's talk about uh, the just announced, you know, Canon R8. It's supposed to be out, if I remember correctly, to actually start shipping in April. Didn't see the time exactly in April, but saw it was coming out. It was released in February, going to ship in April. All right, so a couple of specs. All right, 24 megapixel uh, sensor, the same as the new uh, Canon uh, R R6 Mark II. Um, the Digic X processor. 4K video, uncropped, full frame sensor. You now, as you go through the list, pretty impressive. All right, what, $1,499, $1,500, let's call it, you know, without a lens or without the, the new kit lens, and, you know, was it $1,699 with the new uh, kit lens? So, you know, I heard the, you know, heard that it was going to be announced, waited for it, and the announcement was made. I immediately went in and pre ordered it. Didn't look at any, any of the specs or anything. Just figured, you know what, what the heck, I'm going to get it. So I got something new to play around with. You know, then I started looking at the specs and things and realized that maybe I didn't need it. Now, why is that? All right, this is my Canon RP. All right, and basically, you know, the R8 replaces this. I mean, it's, it's in essence, the same battery, the same housing, the same everything, just with that different sensor. All right, and uh, a new processor. Now, is that bad? No, because 4K video on the RP is pretty much non-existent and useless, all right? It's not something you want to do, all right? But beyond that, the RP takes great images. It's a 20, almost a, what, 26.9 megapixel 
you know, sensor in this. Now the processor isn't as good, but you know, it's definitely, you know, a good camera and has been for several years. And this, you know, this is what got me into the Canon, you know, our system. All right, so as I thought about it and I looked at it and I said, you know, it's a Canon RP basically with a new processor and new sensor. You know, I thought, well, still, should I, should I go ahead and grab it? Maybe it, cause you know, still be nice to have some newer technology. The processor's good. The, the sensor is good. Not that there's anything wrong with this, but the video capability be nice. You know, give me another camera to use to do video with. Then I started looking, and, and, and I don't know if I've said this before, and I think I have, but it's been a long time ago. But with the Canon RP, my biggest frustration with this, frustration number one, is actually changing your focus point because you got to push this little button here on the back, and then you got to, you know, use the little dial here to move the focus point around. It's not even a dial; it's more of a directional finder you know that it was the one main reason why i went away from this and you know went to the r5 really is that i wanted the joystick and i really thought this camera would have or the new camera the r8 would have a joystick and it doesn't it's in essence this exact same body slightly different on top but it's exactly the same body same size same battery same everything just a little bit better capability you know and it still has the same functionality from a focus standpoint which frustrates the heck out of me you know, and the other thing I would really love for it to have would be in-body stabilization, which, you know, the, this RP does not, and the R8 doesn't have it as either, or it doesn't have it either. You know, and that's because as I like to video with it, you know, hold it out here, and some in-body stabilization would get rid of my shaky hand movements, or at least help minimize my shaky hand movements, and it doesn't have it. You know, so it's in essence just this with a better processor and a better sensor. So, I mean, it's something you gotta make up your own mind. I will tell you that, that I went and canceled my order, you know, after I finally read through all the specs and everything and realized it really wasn't gonna give me much other than some video capability. I have other cameras that'll do 4K video, so it's not really the end of the world, you know, not to have it. Now, I may go out and rent it or, you know, try to get a copy of it just to test it, you know, and do a video on it, but, I didn't see owning it as, you know, since I already have the RP, I didn't see it as being really a big step up. You know, I've got an R5 and I've got an RP. Don't know if the R8 really gives me much. That's something you're gonna to have to decide for yourself, all right? Does it give you anything? Don't know, all right? That's your own decision. Mine was I canceled my order. I'm just gonna to continue to keep my RP, all right? And I'm gonna use my R5, all right? So I'm gonna end the video here. Probably not a long video. You know, but I wanted to at least get a couple comments out there. When it comes to the R8, you got to make the decision up for yourself. From my standpoint, I just didn't see enough to justify moving on and spending $1,500 when I've already got an RP. You know, I just didn't see it. So make that, you know, judge for yourself, as I've said a couple times. You know, beyond that, don't forget to go check out my website, deweybphotography.com. You know, you can see some of my images there. You know, it's also linked to my, you know, my Flickr page as well as, you know, my blogs and certainly my YouTube channel. You know, you know, I just want to, you know, end the video by saying, you know, thanks for coming along. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, throw in comments in your, you know, your opinions of the R8. You know, do you need a copy of it? Do you see really enough benefit to justify going out and spending $1,500 on it? If you do, that's great. But, you know, for me, I don't see it. All right. So until we see you again. Stay safe.